Hello, I'm Crispin and welcome to Poker Room Review, your guide for live poker rooms all across the world. In each episode, we review a live poker venue, discussing the important things you need to know when planning your next poker destination. For each venue, we review a range of characteristics, including location and access, game options, service and experience, and rake and rewards. We also discuss the rules, quirks, and issues relating to each location. Today, we are at Star City Casino, Gold Coast, Australia. Australia's Gold Coast is one of the greatest getaway destinations on planet Earth. Since the pandemic, Star Gold Coast is also making a run for being Australia's number one poker destination. Why, you ask? Let's find out. Category one, location and access. Queensland's Gold Coast is simply one of a kind, with warm climate, incredible resorts and oceanfront views, and beaches you could not even dream about, the Gold Coast region is considered Australia's number one playground. Beyond the white sands and delicious cuisines is also the theme parks, Sea World, Movie World, Wet and Wild and Dream World, as well as lush rainforest and relaxing springs and day spas. Certainly a trip to the Gold Coast while you play poker will not be a disappointment for a significant other, or indeed the whole family. Gold Coast also has its own international airport. Buses and cars do take about 30 to 40 minutes to travel from uh, the airport to Broad Beach, where the casino is located, however. The casino itself is modest in size, but gorgeous in layout and design. The poker area is simple to find and uniquely is basking in natural light. Indeed, there is even a walkout balcony adjacent to the tables that boasts fresh air and a stunning visual cityscape. You will need a star membership to play, and this is free from the member's desk near the front door outside the gating area itself. Other than the travel time from the airport, there is only one real drawback to the location, the cost of accommodation. Prices for hotel rooms in the Gold Coast can be prohibitively expensive, so try to shop around for the best deals and book plenty of time in advance because as a famous tourist spot, Broad Beach is pricey indeed. Overall though, the Gold Coast is not just stunning, but outright breathtaking, with perfect weather, incredible views, clean environment, and great people. Travel time and cost are definitely things to take into account, however, for location and access, four and a half stars. Category two, game options. Poker room opens around 10 a.m. starting with $2, $3 blinds with a $200 to $500 max buy-in. $2, $5 will also get up later in the day with a $300 to $1,000 buy-in. Pot Limit Omaha is available, only seems to get up occasionally, and also bigger hold'em games will be run during major tournament series. Star City Gold Coast also runs three tournaments each week in-house, plus a monthly monster stack. There's a $250 survivor bounty, a $200 freeze out on Fridays, a $400 rebuy tournament on Saturdays, and the monthly has an entry price of 660 Australian dollars. But that's not what's more making Star City Gold Coast famous. Now this location has become a key fixture of the World Poker Tour circuit with some absolutely incredible draws and high roller events. Usually there are two festival series run each year at the Gold Coast in March and September with huge open fields and multi-million dollar prize pools, attracting some of the biggest names from across the globe. Not only this, but the WSOP also jets in each year with super high rollers and a $3,000 main event series. Understandably, the major tournament hosts see the value in this universally beloved and iconic location, and I expect the prominence to only grow from here. With its daily cash games, weekly tournaments, and huge international series draws, there is truly something here for everyone. There are a couple of drawbacks though. First, while massively expanding during the major series, normally the poker room isn't really that big. Second, when the major series are on, tournaments have priority on tables, and therefore cash games may not be running at all due to the scarcity of dealers and floor space. So noting that there is not normally a large poker room, four stars. Category three, service and experience. Generally, this is great, and the majority of people likely rate their Gold Coast experience the best in Australia. The scenic views, the quality furniture, 
The well-maintained equipment and well-dressed staff give Poco here a luxurious yet comfortable vibe. There are some really great food options as well. The internal restaurant in the casino has a lot of choice and is reasonably priced. There are also some more premium restaurants on site as well. About 10 minutes walk outside of the casino is a major shopping district with large food courts and casual dining available. Stepping up from the table to walk on the balcony is just a great feature and staff run the room professionally and with great courtesy. As for drawbacks, the table service felt kind of non-existent and as with all star casinos, the cash games are dealt off out of a shoe, which can slow up the action a bit. Due to the strain on resources, you can be waiting quite a while though during busy times, and the cash desk is literally the other side of the gaming floor. But other than the limited table service, these are just generally nitpicks. Honestly, you'll feel relaxed and comfortable whenever you play. For service and experience, three and a half stars. Category four, rake and rewards. So yes, rake in Australia is expensive. At Star City Gold Coast, rake is 10% with a cap of $15 for $2, $3, and $2, $5. There are no jackpot or high hand bonuses of any kind, no bad beat or cash game races either. The local tournament rakes are also on the high side, but the WPT and WSOP events seem standard for their own draws. The only redeeming feature here is that tipping dealers is not allowed and the max buy-in amounts are reasonably decent. For rake and rewards, two stars. Rules and quags. Star City Gold Coast is pretty standard in terms of rules with an optional under the gun straddle, but no buying the button. There is one thing in terms of game options that's unusual for Australia, but first, I've published a new book on Kindle called Poker Stoic, How to Control Tilt and Make Good Decisions. I share 200 stoic maxims from my private notepad, applying stoic philosophy directly to poker. Obviously, I'm biased, but this has honestly saved me more big blinds than literally any other product. If you'd like to improve your mental game and support this channel, see the link below. But back to Star City Gold Coast. Honestly, it's just a really great place to travel to, and unusually for Australia, a major city, Brisbane, is just two hours away and also has a poker room we're also reviewing. Obviously, I recommend any of your tournament players to come out here during the WPT or WSOP series because they are just beyond incredible. The Gold Coast isn't a place where you just want to be at the casino and nowhere else, so give yourself a little slack in your diary and get out and see the place as well. Just remember though, accommodation costs here can be a little insane, so make sure you book as far in advance as you reasonably can. But yes, if you come to Australia for poker, this is a place you just can't miss. Star City Gold Coast, four stars. We review new poker rooms regularly, so if you found value in this content, please hit the like and subscribe buttons because that's the only way YouTube will know this is the case. Also, if you have access to any Facebook groups or poker forums, please consider sharing this video because getting more views is the only way we can create more content. In the meantime, have you been to Star City Gold Coast? If so, what did you think? Is there anything I've missed or recommendations you'd like to include? I'm sure everyone would appreciate it down below. If you wanna check out more reviews, you can do so right now. Otherwise, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.